Police is confirming the identity of the shooter as Devin Kelly. Our Alyssa Gord has been digging into his history and background all evening long, and you've even learned some new information in the last 20 minutes or so. We have, Erin, and we've been trying to piece together the identity of the shooter. Now, law enforcement wouldn't name him, but the Associated Press is reporting that the shooter is 26-year-old Devin Kelly using that name. We actually found this picture on his public Facebook page, but we've just learned from New Braunfels High School, who confirmed for us he graduated there back in 2009. Now, the school said in a statement that this senseless act of violence is hard to understand and it's definitely shaken their community. We, uh, again, we found the picture of him using the public Facebook page. Um, today at a press conference in Wilson County, officials described him as a young white male in his early 20s, dressed in all black tactical type gear. He was wearing a ballistic vest then as well. And in Guadalupe County, the sheriff there also told us the shooter had a Ruger AR assault type rifle, which he dropped as he was running away from the church. We've also confirmed that Kelly previously was a United States Air Force member. He served from 2010 to 2014 when he was discharged for bad conduct. The Air Force tells us that he was court-martialed for two counts of assault on his spouse and on their child. He was also demoted and sentenced to 12 months in jail. He served in logistics readiness at Holloman Air Force Base in New Mexico. And DPS said today they still don't know the shooter's motive. And the Guadalupe County Sheriff says they'll know more about him after they conduct an autopsy, which they expect will happen tomorrow, Erin. Okay, thank you so much, Alyssa. And Kelly's home address was listed just outside New Braunfels. Our Phil Prazen is there taking a look at the scene as police investigate that home. Phil? Well, Aaron, neighbors tell me that law enforcement showed up here on FM 2722 about 1.30 in the afternoon. And since then, Comal County Sheriff's deputies and Texas Rangers have come and go from this spot. Right now, there's only one law enforcement vehicle posted at the gate. Now, I've talked to about 10 different neighbors here tonight, and none of them have ever seen the people that live on that property. They describe how, and that's why people move out here to these 10 to 12 acre lots. They want a little bit of seclusion, but also the neighbors describe hearing lots of gunshots from this property over the last few years, describing it as sounds of target practice. Now on lots this size, you are uh, able to uh, shoot weapons on your property, now they, but they have even heard large explosions every few weeks or so. The Albers have lived out here for 10 years and they tell me the last few nights they've heard more gunshots than normal. It's honestly, it feels like a war zone sometimes. There's we, one time we could hear the bullets whizzing by our house, and sometimes we hear like loud explosions, maybe from like targets or something like that. And we're working to find more information tonight, and we will have the latest information on KXAN.com. For now, I'm live in New Braunfels. Phil Prazen, back to you in the studio.